Do you see all these bags, you guys? This is what happens when you go to a crazy amount of Dollar Trees on a hunt for lemon plates. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share with you my Dollar Tree haul that I accumulated while I was on vacation with my girlies. You guys, this haul's gonna take a bit, so grab yourself a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, a snack, whatever you prefer, sit back and relax. I tend to watch Dollar Tree hauls better with a piece of paper and a pen to jot down any notes of anything that I may be on a hunt for to add to my wish list, but I believe, last time I counted, I think we went to 11 or 12 Dollar Trees on a hunt for lemon plates. Now. If you want to know if the Lemonade Mom found any of her lemon Dollar Tree dishware that's out, you'll have to go over to her channel and check out that video. But this is the stuff that I bought. And, like, how do you go into that many Dollar Trees all over? Like, Georgia, Alabama, North Carolina, South Carolina. Like, we were just all over the place. And how do you go to that many and see all these things and not pick them up? So, if you want to see what I picked up while I was on vacation, stick around for this video. Okay guys, so I actually sorted this stuff. I don't normally do that. I just usually grab stuff out of the bags, but this, like I said, was an accumulation from like a tremendous amount of Dollar Tree, so there was just bags all over the place, and I could see my husband having heart failure. So I had to condense things down a little bit and let him know it was not that crazy, but just kidding, it's super crazy. So I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite things that I found because I know these things are fairly new but I found all these clear signs. You guys, these are so cute for a buck and I'm totally going to use them for gifts because I know so many people who this would fit in their home decor and you just can't beat this for a dollar. So this is what they look like. And this is a hard plastic. It looks like distressed wood, but it's not. It's like a white plastic and it's a glass frame like thing on the inside and it just says dream now i just watched pookie from pookie's view say that you can take that the lettering comes off really easily which that was kind of disheartening to me that that it could come off that easily but she said if you don't like the words and you just want to use this clear as like a tray of some kind or something and put something else here you could so i got the dream one as a gift and then I totally know who I'm giving this one to, but it says a wine o'clock, so I'm giving this one as a gift. I thought that would be super cute, so I'm putting that aside for her for Christmas already, you guys, because I think that that's awesome. And then this one I'm going to keep for my summer decor. This one says relax, so I thought this would look good on my floating shelf. I have like a lot of seashells and, you know, seahorse things and that kind of thing, so I thought this would fit that theme really well. So I'm going to put that on the shelf, so I'm excited about these. So while we were on the hunt for lemon plates, we were literally casing every single dishware aisle in every Dollar Tree. And this is the new pattern of dishes that they're putting out. Uh, I feel like they're already bringing out their fall line. Some people were saying that sunflowers are still summer. Uh, I still consider sunflower like more of a fall flower. That color fits that like fall decor. But I am in love with this plate, you guys. I think this is gorgeous. I have a lot of plates from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I got all the Rachel Ray ones from there, plus a couple of like solid white ones that I needed for photographing food. And everything is held up really well in my dishwasher. No chips, no nothing. Good, solid, sturdy plates, like better than the ones I got from Bed Bath & Beyond, which is mind-blowing to me. But being that I do a lot of what's for dinner videos, and now I'm taking a lot of pictures of my food, for my cookbook and everything, I've been like on the hunt for just really pretty plateware to plate things with that are eye appealing and help make your food more eye appealing, you know? So I absolutely love this design and there was a lot of things for this design. I didn't go crazy. I just got the plate and then I got the bowl, which I thought the bowl was a decent size um, and it has the flowers on both sides, which I love. I think, like I said, I think it's a good size for, you know, plating food. And then I did get one of the drinking glasses just because I love this. We um, saw like the pattern that they had, the cherries, the lemons. 
in this drinking glass and I was really impressed with their drinking glasses so I picked up one of those to go with that set but I'm really excited about that um, and then as far as books go you guys I only picked up one book and I'm really surprised because a lot of the Dollar Trees we went to had very large book sections but I feel like with Dollar Tree and their book sections in order to really give it a good once over you have to dig and we were always on such a time crunch we never really had time for digging but Vanessa spotted this and she was like oh my gosh you have to get that that's so you and it really is so me so this cookbook says brunch galore totally keeping this for myself uh, it says that it retails for $16.95 which is not the best markup that we've gotten as far as books are concerned but still it was a dollar and not $17 but it is filled with all these crazy brunch ideas and I I just I love brunch I love breakfast I love lunch put them together you got brunch I'm super excited and I've been really enjoying sharing cooking segments from books that I found at the Dollar Tree on my channel like food hack Friday that's what have become one of my favorite parts of the month is going through that cookbook from the Dollar Tree and coming up Daryl's going to be starting doing like a man segment of some man edition cookbooks that I found. So I'm excited about that. So I'm totally digging on the cookbooks from the DT. All right, you guys. I'm kind of like addicted to the stationery in the Dollar Tree because these are such great gift fillers. I know how often I use notebooks. So I love giving them as gifts because I feel like if people use them as often as me, you go through them like that. But I love the crown jewels additions that come to the Dollar Tree. They're just super elegant and they look so upscale for a dollar. And I like to give them as gifts. Um, this is the only one I picked up for myself. You guys know that I love unicorns. So this one says believe in yourself with the unicorn on it. There's 50 sheets in here. But uh, I have a stainless steel refrigerator that does not have is not magnetic if you have a stainless steel fridge like you know you can't stick to it and I only have like this much of the side that sticks out of like the cabinet that's built around it so I we haven't built a command center yet so when we're leaving little notes for the kids or something around I like to have sticky notes I could stick this right to the fridge and I know there's no way Jake's missing that if I stick it to the refrigerator so I love the little sticky notes to leave him notes and then I got two different prints I got one of the cactus print and one of the pineapple prints because I have friends that like those things so I'm always building little care packages so this one's going to Leanne she loves cactuses I just sent her a box with some cactus stuff but I'm gonna go see her next month when I go to New York so I definitely want to bring like stuff with me so um, I got this little cactus notebook it just has the gold foil cactus on it it is by crown jewels it is a journal style with 50 sheets so I got that and then I got this one that matches and this just says take note and it has a little cactus down at the bottom which is super cute so that goes with that and then this one just says stick together and this is the matching little sticky notes so those ones I got for Leanne and then this is the pineapple one same thing just a gold foil pineapple on the yellow journal with the 50 sheets and then this is the notepad that just says a sap across the top which I love that again 50 sheets and then this one just says be sweet and it has 50 sheets in it and that is the pineapple sticky note so though that is going to mat my pineapple lover and then this I picked up I think I kind of picked it up for myself because I really gravitated towards it but when I did my gift exchange with the girls like I left home with like a stack of stationery so I kind of should just, just put this in my gift closet but it's just so gorgeous and if you guys know me you know why I want to keep this it says faith hope and love and I keep everything that says hope on it and it has the gold foil with all the pretty dots this is also again by crown jewels and it's the journal style with 50 pages and then here is the little thing that says love notes and it has the same design and it's the matching sticky notes with 50 sheets so guilty that I want to keep these all for myself but you guys the stationery at the DT is killing it all right so this bag that I just pulled up is all like the toy stuff and the things I kind of picked up for the kiddos so I'll start off by saying I went a little crazy with these play packs 
you guys I really love these just throwing them in my bag or the diaper bag or something because you never realize how often these, these things come in clutch because there's usually 25 coloring sheets a sheet of stickers and then four crayons in here and every time the kids are bored somewhere and we're even just standing in line at a store I boom I pull this out and they even have like a little ziploc top so if you want to put it back in here and reseal it and give it back to them the next time and literally only use it for things like that, then that is perfect. So this one's the My Little Pony one. Uh, I already gave that to Maya walking in because the kids were like, what did you bring me? Um, but then this one I picked up, you guys, this is Popples. I, I almost screamed in the store when Vanessa had that. I was like, ah, oh, give that to me. That is Popples. Flashback to my childhood. So my kids don't even know what Popples are, but mom does, and those rock. So I got that. And then this is Coco, which I, the kids just got this movie for Easter, and they loved this movie. So I got the Coco one. I've never seen that. And I've never seen Vampirina. I've totally mentioned to you guys that my daughter is digging Vampirina. And I got the Puppy Dog Pals last time, and then this time Vampirina. The kids are going to go bonkers for that. And then I picked up two of these Power Ranger notebooks. They're lenticular, which means, like, they have that weird sound like when you scratch it and it looks like 3d and hologram and this is the original power rangers you guys like flashback to the 90s when i was raising my little brother and i know all the names of all these people and all their zords and all the things that they use because my brother used to make me sit down and watch every episode of power rangers with him um but then he got my son into it and jake's birthday is coming up so i picked up one of these power ranger notebooks for jake to put aside for school and one for my brother yes he's 27 years old and i still believe he can use a notebook okay you guys crayola is killing me that they are popping up at the dollar tree because crayola my whole life was never cheap i know around back to school you can get like the 24 pack of crayons for like 25 cents or 50 cents at walmart but besides the back to school time and like the cheap things of crayons and markers all of like this kind of stuff growing up was like super expensive and i was only allowed to get this kind of stuff on special occasions because i always had to get when i needed for school so when i see stuff like this i go crazy now there's only four of these shopkin notebooks and between the stores i found them all so super excited there's a blue pack a purple pack a green and an orange pack and they're all scented which what that's crazy um so this is a strawberry orange and a watermelon in this one and then this one is looks like popcorn taco and soda pop that's in the blue package. And then in the purple package is nail polish, lipstick, and a purple shoe. And then this is the cookie one. And this is a snow cone, a chocolate bar, and a chocolate chip cookie. So I managed to get every color in these Shopkins markers and I'm gonna put them aside for Maya for either when we're doing like school time stuff or like seriously for when she goes to school. When she starts school, like I'm already going to have all of her supplies. Um, and then the other things were these, like I've never seen these before. They're called a Mighty Markers, they're these little tiny markers and they're in the neon, which my kids dig anything that's like bright and neon and there's 10 in a pack. So I picked up two of these and I'm gonna put these aside for the kids. These are great for those play packs as well because they're super small and you could just fold the top back in and keep them in here. Throw these in the handbag and you're good to go. So speaking of neon, this was something that was actually on my wish list. Um, Pookie from Pookie's View, uh, she hauled these and I was like, oh my gosh, these look awesome. I know they probably don't work fabulous, but it's still something else fun for the kids to do cheap for a dollar. And they're by Anchor Art and they're called Chalk Explosion Blast. So basically it's like a big hacky sack or like a cheesecloth filled with chalk dust and you throw it and it just leaves a bullseye mark. So I thought these are really cute because I seriously think my kids will have, get a kick out of them. So I got the orange, I got the green, and then this is kind of coming across pink on camera, but it is very purpley. 
So I got those for them, but just something else for them to do outside at my mom's on a hot day because they don't have air conditioning inside. So we're gonna be outside where we're not dying on the inside as much as possible. Some more cute things that I found like in the toy section that I've never seen at mine, but one of them is this jumbo washable glue stick. I just thought this was super cute. Like that is a huge glue stick. I like that it's like triangular so it won't roll. It'll stay flat and I like that it's jumbo which is good for my kids little hands because if Mason does not okay you guys there's a waiting list for his preschool which breaks my heart because back in New York everybody got in so Jake had no problem getting in but now there's a chance that Mason might not go to preschool this year and that really breaks my heart so if that is the case I have to be super structured at home this year last year I really wanted to homeschool him and things just kind of fell off the wagon and I can't let that that happened this year so I have to be really prepared so I picked up this for school for him and then I picked up these jumbo playing cards he really likes this show called Rusty Rivets um, I think it's either it's either Disney or Nickelodeon oh no it says it right there it's Nickelodeon but he really likes the show when Vanessa the lemonade mom was here my son was like up her butt trying to get her to play with him and then the second this Rusty Rivets came on he was like your chop liver so definitely know that this show attracts him so i'm hoping that he'll he it'll help with his numbers and stuff if we play some go fish with this so last of my toys i picked up this incredibles 2 sticker book and then a pack of these stickers. Now, I did see this on vacation and I had already checked out and I panicked. So I grabbed them, I gave them to Nicole and I threw her money and said, hey, pick this up for my kids. And then I never grabbed them from her. Um, so I was happy to find them in mine. But now, Nicole, if you're watching this, keep the book and the stickers for Waylon. I know you just took him to see Incredibles 2. I'm so proud that he did so well and he sat there because my kids did not do that. So give him the sticker book and the stickers let him have a good time with it tell him that Kira is super proud of him for being a great boy for mommy in the movie theater all right guys so this is just like a miscellaneous bag that I just kind of threw like random stuff in here more like houseware stuff I guess um I picked up these two little onion grass guys. I have tons of this onion grass all over my house in different planters, but I've never seen the one with the flowers in there, and I really love that. I feel like this is very farmhouse, and the cute little flowers just add a nice touch during spring and summer. Probably wouldn't keep these out in my displays during fall, but for this time of year, I would. So this one has the pink flowers. This one has the purple flowers. I thought these were an awesome deal. I did pick up a couple of new reusable bags. I know I probably don't need any more. I got reusable bags like crazy, but I took a lot of heavy stuff on my trip to Alabama and some of the bottoms now are breaking through. So I picked up this new one. I love me some unicorns. And this is the one that says, it's so fluffy with the unicorn. So I love that. Let's pick that one up. And then I got this one in honor of my boys. And it's the new Incredibles one, which now mama needs to go see that movie since my kids didn't make it in the theater. And my older one got to see it, but mom, not so much. So I'm dying and I need another trip back to the theater. I got a couple of these like home decor signs. I found this one. I like this one a little bit. I was really looking for the one behind it, but I wouldn't settle for this one. So I think I'm going to save one for you guys, give it as a gift or in a giveaway. But this is the one I was looking for myself and I'm so glad I found it. This one says bless our nest and I love like the faux wood behind it and all the succulent wreath. Like I will totally get tons of home decor use out of this. So I'm excited about this guy. I went a little t-shirt crazy for Mason. I know that the t-shirts have been floating around the Dollar Tree and if I find any in our size, I always pick them up because how do you beat a t-shirt for a buck? Especially when these are not like back alley or non-name brand. This is Fruit of the Loom. So it's not like you're just getting like, um, maybe somewhere along the line there was something wrong with these and that's why they sent them. But I just can't go wrong with 
even if you got a couple of uses out of this and it fell apart i feel like you got your use for a dollar so i picked up a bunch of t-shirts for mason those were the only size that they had that would work for our family but he always could use backup t-shirts and again they were a buck so I picked him up the royal blue, which I thought is a really nice color. I picked him up this green, which he looks really good in green. So I picked him up that. Uh, I got a fresh white t-shirt, which I always feel like going out somewhere, even though white doesn't last. A nice white t-shirt with a pair of khaki pants really dresses you up really quick over the summertime. And then I got him a red. So he got that and then couldn't not get clothes for Maya. So found these little socks. Those ones have unicorns on them. So of course they were coming home with me and rainbows and they actually have the safety tread on the bottom. So I was excited about those clothes finds. I did find the dream catchers and I picked up one of each color. I know my cousin Ashlyn was looking for the pink one. So I picked that one up for her. And I think Amber, Anchor Amber here on YouTube, I think she wanted the blue one, which means I'll give the brown one to Jake. Or if she wants the brown one, I'll give the blue one to Jake. But either one of these, these were all taken before I even got them home. Only one lonely candle in this haul, you guys. What? One candle? What are you talking about, Kira? Well, I really didn't want to get too much glass stuff when I was like traveling back and forth. I was afraid of stuff breaking and I was like already picking up a bunch of things I probably shouldn't have picked up. But this is one of those old Williamsburg that was like the cupcake ice cream style. But do you see what that says, you guys? It was lemon poppy never saw that before and I was with Vanessa the lemonade mom that was like a bell going off like ding gotta buy this candle so I did and you guys like I've been all about lemon lately like even from Bath and Body Works the lemon cello oh my gosh and this smells so good it smells just like a lemon pound cake so I'm excited to burn it because I usually have a lot of success with the old Williamsburg candles so I am very excited to burn that guy and then I only picked up one a wall decoration, but you guys, I had to get this because this says chocolate doesn't ask silly questions, chocolate understands, which that's how you're supposed to put it. But can you guys read my shirt? You can. It says chocolate understands because chocolate does understand from a woman's point of view, wine and chocolate they go hand in hand and they understand so when i saw that i was like i don't care where i'm finding a place for that but it's going up somewhere because mama already knows that without wine and chocolate i would not survive i did pick up another one of these i have these in every other color that the dollar tree offers and these things are amazing you guys these are the veggie and fruit little storage containers they fit perfect in my pull out drawers or my fruits and veggies go they really do help longevity like i bought blueberries and strawberries and a whole bunch of things at trader joe's before i even went on my trip and i came back and was still able to pull these containers out and give them to my kids so i highly recommend them but what is new to the dollar tree is this color this gray is like everybody is all over this gray because it came out in every kind of storage piece that the dollar tree offers and i'm really excited about them this is a green briar product and like i said everything is so cohesive so i'm afraid i go when i go back next time i might kind of overload on storage stuff because you can never go wrong with all those bins and baskets but this guy i didn't care what state i was in i was making sure he came home with me all right, let's move on to food since we just tackled that because I have quite a few food bags. I found a lot of great food scores, which is why I didn't feel so guilty about like getting all this stuff because it will go to good use. Um, so let me do a couple of these dessert things that I picked up when everybody was hauling these like crazy cake mixes and stuff i was kind of disappointed because i don't ever see the name brand by me if i do it's just pillsbury chocolate or vanilla fudge cake mix that's it chocolate vanilla never see anything else so the one time i saw that like cookie crinkle by me it was like a christmas one and i still put it in my car because i was so excited so when i saw these which i've seen everybody haul these for so long they were coming home with me so this is the betty crocker original recipe german chocolate delight uh, i saw 
Nicole Burgess haul this. She said her husband loves German chocolate cake, but she does not, so she doesn't normally make it for him, but when she saw this, she grabbed it for him. I am gonna need to find the specific icing because I know you use like a coconut icing and I am all about coconut, so I'm excited to try this, and it does say no preservatives, artificial flavors, artificial colors. It is Betty Crocker though, but it's okay for a dollar. We will splurge and we will love it and the other thing is these premium dessert s'mores mix like tell me that doesn't scream summer so i'm definitely going to use this maybe i'll bring it with me to new york or i'll make them and bring them as like a snack or put it aside for jake's birthday but these will definitely come into good handy because we love all of the stuff on hand it was just my aunt's birthday and she is a huge saltwater taffy fan so I wanted to bring this home for her but I have never seen saltwater taffy you guys at the Dollar Tree ever not once or I would have bought it because seriously like even Christmas time I ordered her saltwater taffy from like all over the world because that's like her favorite thing she loves trying all the different flavors so I was really excited this comes with strawberry orange green apple and grape I know banana is her favorite and I was hoping they were gonna have that in there but still saltwater taffy for a buck aunt liz this is coming to you all right this you guys um it's empty why because i could not wait to eat these nicole brought some comp uh chip company name by the name of zaps she brought those chips with her she said it's local to like louisiana mississippi alabama area and she brought like this pickle chip she gave them to Madison, and when Madison was, wasn't looking, I was kind of contemplating stealing them from her and sticking them in my bag because they were so good. So then when Vanessa and I walked through a snack zone in the biggest Dollar Tree, um, we saw these, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get them, I have to try them. And they're Utz brand, which I personally like those brand, and you guys... The biggest Dollar Tree is two hours north of me, so it was a little bit of a drive, but I ate the bag on the way home like so good if you like pickles this chip is for you so some more things for my kiddos that i had not seen before so one of them is these cookies and cream rice crispy treats jake is gonna go bonkers for these so i'm gonna save these for like his little birthday snack basket thing that i'm making him and then these i know my littles will like because they like soft baked like um, I get a lot of the fruit and green kind of bars from Trader Joe's and these are by Quaker and they are the breakfast square and baked apple and cinnamon so I think they would really love that there's six bars in here and we've tried these before and they're big diesel bars so you cannot beat a box of Quaker snacks you guys for one dollar so I got a bunch of soups but all this stuff was super new to me and I really love soup but my oldest child does not like soup so i don't often make soup because he's not a fan but he just went to my mom's for three weeks ahead of me so we're gonna eat a bunch of soup while he's gone so one of these is the annie's soup i just started seeing everybody haul this this past week but i had not ever seen this in a dollar tree and if you guys watch any of my grocery haul especially bj's we buy a lot of annie's products we really love them we love their mac and cheese we our fruit snacks uh jake takes a annie's fruit snack in every single one of his lunches so we love annie so to see this for a dollar and we are a huge supporter of box tops and there is a box top right there so you're already getting another 10 cents back to support your school but for a dollar you cannot beat this so this is the vegetable soup with a farm shaped pasta but they did have a tomato soup with pasta in it and a plain tomato soup so i didn't think the kids would like the tomato soup so i stayed away from that but i think they'll really love that and if they do i'm gonna go back and stock up and then these were soup mixes like this to me is just absolutely amazing. It's by Swanson. I grew up my whole life on Swanson. I know they're probably a GMO company, but I really love them. And they had so many different soups. So this one says chicken noodle. All you do is add their broth, chicken and diced carrots, and then all the other like seasoning and veggies come in here. So soup starters for a dollar. Yes, sign me up. So this one is vegetable beef and noodle. All you add is ground beef diced tomatoes and the swanson beef broth and then this one oh my goodness this just sounds so good so this one you add bacon potatoes heavy cream and broth and this one is their loaded potato what what yes 
You heard that right. Loaded potato soup in a bag and I am all about it. What Dollar Tree haul is a Dollar Tree haul without me hauling some kind of bread? So I had to get these because, well, they're pretty much staples or it's something new. We love Wonder Bread in our house, but this one is called a classic barbecue bread, which I've not ever seen before. And basically they're like individually sliced, like almost like a hot dog roll that doesn't open with sesame seeds on the top. So I can see myself like putting this in the oven and making like a garlic bread stick out of it, or it's saying barbecue. So I'm not really sure if it is suggesting you use this for like pulled pork, but that's on the menu for this week. So uh, being that's just us, I'm probably gonna divide this huge pack for a dollar in half and Daryl and I will use one for the pork night and see how that works and I'll freeze the other half and use it for garlic sticks but I mean how do you beat that for a dollar you cannot and then of course I got my cobblestone onion rolls uh, if you guys missed my vacation vlog I'll put a card up top but I got Vanessa to try an RB sandwich the roast beef for the very first time and like she said as soon as she opened it she's like up oh, there's your onion roll and I said yes cannot make this without um, my onion rolls and do you guys see what that said there's even a sticker right there right there that says two for five dollars I'm not sure where this came from but no I did not pay 250 for that I paid a dollar so I'm super excited about that. And then this was my biggest and favorite score. Do you guys see that? This says Nathan's Hot Dog Buns by Cobblestone. I love this Cobblestone brand. I stock up on all sorts of Cobblestone bread when I go to the Dollar Tree because it's $3 in Walmart or a dollar in the Dollar Tree. So I always pick it up and freeze it. But Nathan's Buns, that's the only other hot dog that I will eat besides a sabrette coming from Long Island. It's the only hot dog I'll eat and like a bun for a dollar. Cobblestone, Nathan's. Mm -hmm. That's right. Two different kinds of breadcrumbs, but I love getting my breadcrumbs from the Dollar Tree because these are also super expensive in the store. And I've been growing up my whole life on Progresso. These are probably not the best breadcrumbs for you. And I did, while Vanessa was here, make meatballs like with fresh bread and making that into breadcrumbs, which was definitely super flavorful and something I will do again even if I just get bread from the Dollar Tree and use that as breadcrumbs instead but I love these as a go-to and I've been looking for these for a really long time I have not been able to find them so I that's why I had to use bread because I didn't have them so I found them while I was out and then I love using these panko breadcrumbs because they crisp things up just like TGI Fridays I used to work there and I am obsessed with their sesame jack chicken strips my local Fridays will sell me the bag of Jack Daniels Glaze and then I just make the chicken at home and I save myself like going out to Fridays and spending $100 for me and my family and especially during football season we load up on Sesame Jack chicken strips so I definitely need to stock up on this because football is around the corner and I am so excited. So this is that brand that I was talking to you about, Zaps, that Nicole said is local to her. Uh, I picked this up in that really big Dollar Tree in North Carolina, so I'm so surprised because I've not seen this local to me, but I could not find the pickle ones. But I did find the New Orleans kettle style salt and vinegar, so the salt and vinegar is so good for me. Sign me up. So I got those ones, and then I did get these everyone's been hauling these this is not that new but I was still excited to find them because they weren't in my local store and this is the galaxy puff pop chips in aged white cheddar and they are in the Star Wars theme so I know my kids are gonna get a kick out of that and then I never saw these either but now the snacks are like really growing in the Dollar Tree because they're adding these snack zones so they're extending their food, which is kind of crazy because all this stuff is name brand. So these are Pillsbury mini chocolate chip cookies. They're the soft baked kind. And then these ones are the double chocolate chip. Yum. So I picked these up for a buck. I feel like these are great for the diaper bag, handbag, summertime, on the go kind of thing. And I believe that the last food item I got was this steak sauce by Kikoman. Now, I love Kikoman. I get a lot of their, like, marinades for steaks and their soy sauce and things like that. So to see their steak sauce in the Dollar Tree, I was jumping up out of my chair. This is good till February of 2020. 
20. So it is nowhere by far going to expire anytime soon and we always have steak on the menu. So I think this will get lots of good use. So in this bag that I have here is like all the bathroom kind of stuff that I guess that I got. So like I picked up these PJ mask band-aids. Band-aids are definitely a must in our house and they love the character kinds. Like if it's emojis, if it's whatever, it definitely puts a smile on their face when they have a boo-boo. So I'm not the kind of mom that like goes and buys band-aid brand because my kids would rather seeing a happy smiley PJ mask on their boo-boo than a regular band-aid. So I got that. Um, I did get these because my girls have been raving about them. So these are the facial scrubbers and I believe that maybe Madison is using them as a facial scrubber and likes it. But Nicole, I think, is using this as a pumice stone. And then maybe she's also using this to clean out her makeup brushes. I don't know. They told me to get them. So when I saw them, they threw them in my cart and said I needed them. So I bought them. And I'm pretty sure they'll tell me how I'm using them. But yeah, that's what I got these for. And if they recommend them, you know, my girls are like Dollar Tree gurus. So, um, and then I also got these facial pads. These ones I will actually use like in the shower to wash my face. And these are microfiber facial pads in a pretty purple color. And they were a three count and I had not ever seen them before. So I picked them up for myself. I've been using the blueberry acai facial scrub from Trader Joe's. It is the bomb and I will use that for that. So I'm excited about that. And then I'm saving one of these for you guys and one for myself. Um, but these are the cucumber eye pads. And I was so excited to find these because I thought that they were like reusable ones that you were going to put in the refrigerator and put on your eyes, but there's not. There's 16 pads in here. So it's eight rounds of you using these like cooling cucumber things to reduce any kind of swelling in your eyes. And you guys, I totally have the sleepless dark circle puffy mom eye thing going on like it's a problem. So definitely looking forward to trying those and then putting them aside for, like I said, teacher gifts, giveaways, that kind of thing. I was excited to find them. So I got some nail stuff, but not a whole lot of nail things because I'm kind of running out of space to put all of my nail stuff. So one, uh, these are just the two nail packs that I found that I did not have. Um, these ones I love because they have a couple of solid colors and then they have a few of these wacky colors. And as you guys can see, like I took the flamingo ones, I think. The flamingo ones, I think, are the ones that Kayla Hawkins sent me um, because I was in love with them. I was going to use them for my vacation, but I tried to put them all on and they just looked a little too much like all flamingos. So I broke them up with just a regular pink nail that I took from a set. So I'm excited about those ones that have some solid ones and some ones that I can use like for accent pieces and the same go for these. I really love them of the grays and the white and that mint green and some designer pieces. So I picked up that and then I picked up the Kiss glue. Now I do not normally use this glue. I use the Sassy and Chic glue. I swear by it. My nails don't come off. I love it. But a lot of people, including Vanessa, said they really liked this glue. It's Kiss brand and you can't beat it for a dollar and the amount of glue is more. So if it's about the nails, just, just sign me up. Just throw it in the car. I'll buy it. Seriously, you guys, like as I was putting the glue back, like my thumbnail fell off. So testing out the kiss glue right now and gluing my nail back on. I did find a Maybelline product in the Dollar Tree and I know some people have, but I never have. And this is their Color Show Nail Polish. And this was in the color Plum As You Are. And it's gonna look a little black, but it is a purpley color. And I really love like those dark purples and I love the nail polish because these ones, these pink ones that I have on right now, these are plain white nails that I just painted a nail polish to match the flamingos. So I like to have good like plain nail polishes on hand for times like that. So for Maybelline for a buck, I was yes. 
I did see these whitening strips. I don't know how they are. It says starts working as quickly as one day. There is four strips in here, two treatments, and it's by Reach, which I know is like, that used to be a really popular toothbrush when I was growing up. Uh, so I'm not really sure. I was gonna give them a try, but I know whitening strips themselves are super expensive. So for a dollar, I figured it was worth giving it a try. And then the other thing I picked up for my bathroom was this jar. This has kind of been floating around for a long time, but I never found it. And this one says good vibes and I love like the ombre look of it. So I'm going to use this in my bathroom for my makeup brushes because it's really big. Like it's a huge circle. Uh, the other one that I have in there is kind of narrow. Um, and I have my hair ties in there. Um, so I think this is going to be better for my brushes. I'll switch them one or the other, but that's what I got this guy for. Last of the bathroom stuff, I picked up one of these seven day pill organizers. I've always gotten them from the Dollar Tree, but it's always just been one. And now it's a two pack hanging next to the one pack. So two or one for the same price, I don't know. Um, but I know that they do. I know that they don't last that long, um, but I was excited for the two pack because both Jake and I use them. So I picked us up this guy. And then I picked up another one of these. These are like a, the thing you can like use to put like drill bits or, you know, screws or whatever and sort them. But Madison Pippins here on YouTube said to use them to store my fake nails. It has been key for me. I actually decorated my other one with stickers, but now like if they're all full and if I have doubles the doubles are in there with it and then I have like three packs waiting on the outside and now these two that I just bought so I definitely needed this so I picked this up and if you guys have a bunch of fake nails these things really come in handy and then you don't have a bunch of those cardboard boxes you just have a few of these and they work great all right, so I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video that my oldest boy, his birthday is coming up. It's July the 21st, and he will be 14. Now, it's kind of hard to do any kind of like themed birthday party at this stage because, you know, they're kind of growing out of that. But he still really does love emojis. He is kind of on the immature side, but... It's super cute that he's still kind of into things because, you know, once they get to a certain age, like I said, then that's over and you kind of miss that innocence about them. So it's times like that that I like his immaturity because I still get to keep my baby boy for a little bit longer. So I was able to kind of get away with some themed birthday plate things that I know he will still like, even though he's turning 14. And they have emojis in there. And I think that's great. I've not ever seen that before. I was super excited. Like, look at all the plates, you guys. I think that's super Super cute. I mean, I'm almost 37 years old and I pretty much send every text message with an emoji. So I think even I would like these. I just think that they're great. So I picked up two of the big plates and one of the small plates that'll be for, you know, dinner and cake. One of the tablecloth just to decorate a little bit. Oops, just kidding. Picked up two small and two big plates. One tablecloth. And then, wait, hold on. Then this was tattoos. He's definitely too old for tattoos, but I think he will do these to appease his little brother and sister who are all about tattoos. So I thought this would be something fun to do on his birthday, like with them, even if it's during cake time or something. And then I thought this would be cute to give him as a gift, but they have a shower curtain and washcloth. So that was super cute. So I'm gonna give this to him for his bathroom. Uh, he shares a bathroom with all of the kids and it's kind of like a fish finding dory kind of theme but I literally just had to replace my liner because before Vanessa got here and I was cleaning my bathroom I was like well this liner is totally gross so we always need a backup so I'm just gonna leave this in here because you know at the Dollar Tree you never know when you're gonna find it again but really an emoji shower curtain and washcloths like it's so cute I did end up scoring the at symbol. I mentioned to you guys that uh, I had gotten the N sign, which I do have on my little shelf up there between me and my husband's letters above our bed, which I think is super cute. But I wanted to do something fun with this. I thought maybe for thumbnail pictures or something, I could do at and then write 50 shades of mom, like whatever the case may be. I don't know. I feel like I can have a lot of fun with this. If I didn't have a channel or something that I could be at, 
anything, this would be no purpose, but I feel like I could have a lot of fun with this. So I picked that up for a dollar. I definitely was on the hunt for that guy. And then these have been around for a while too, but my husband is killing me with these, okay? He keeps getting all these mugs. Even Vanessa just sent him a really, really nice Cowboys mug in our box swap. And like, he's already put coffee in it and left it in his car. Do you know what milk and sugar smells like in a 90 degree outside? So 150 degree inside temperature car when you leave your coffee mug? I do the dishes. It's not pretty. So I get frustrated and then I end up throwing out these really good mugs. So I want to kind of invest in some of these for him. These are the Take and Toss. This says Take It To Go for a dollar. There's two of them in here. They're plastic. They have the plastic lid. Does this say it can go in the dishwasher? I don't know. I usually end up hand washing these. Dishwasher safe, microwave safe, BPA free, like what Dollar Tree for a dollar. So my husband can use these instead of poisoning my nose and ruining all of our good cups by leaving his stuff in the car. So that's for the hubs. So I found a bunch of these signs. You guys, these signs are so cute. None of them are for me. They were all for gifts. I actually already sent one to Kim at the WADS. Uh, I had a flamingo on it and it said flock away, I believe, or something like that. It was super cute. I took a picture of it. I'll put it right here. So cute. I already sent a little package uh, off to her. It was her birthday coming up. Uh, she was in Florida, so I don't know if she got it right away, but I did put a whole bunch of flamingo stuff in there. She is in Florida, and she loves that. Um, so I already sent that off to her, and then I got this one for my friend Matt that says, you are the pineapple of my eye which is so super cute and it just has a little string to hang it. And then these two are from my cousin Ashlyn. She loves mermaids. She, no lie, has a giant tattoo of Ariel on her thigh. Like Disney lover, mermaids, all her thing. So I got her this one that says mermazing. I love all the little glitter on it, so pretty. And she's about to buy, buy. About to move into her own apartment on August the 1st. So she's going to need some decor stuff to hang up. So I'm excited for her. And then this one says, let's be mermaids. I love this one. And this one is the like galvanized tin with the string. So got those ones for my friends for gifts because I love them. Last little sack of goodies, guys. So this was actually just a complete like fluke bizarre thing, but... Uh, we went to see Madison again when we were driving home. Needed to use the restroom again. So we popped into her one more time to give her one more squeeze, use her restroom, and head back on the way. And she was literally, like, ranting and raving over these lip glosses that she gets from Bath & Body Works. They're menthol -y, and she made us try them. She seriously made us all go on Bath & Body Works and order them. And when I put them on, I was like, holy cow, it's like Banaka for my lips. And Vanessa said, Banaka? I haven't heard anybody say that in years. And then we went to the Dollar Tree and rounded the corner and it said new Banaka like breath strips. So, I mean, it was almost like fate. Like I just said it and then it came to me. So I had to get it. I saw these in the Dollar Tree and I love these for my handbag. These are the new Thick and Soft Kleenex Wet Wipes in the Gentle Clean and there are eight wet wipes in here and it has like the sticker that you can peel and put it back so you can reuse it. But with kids, and on the go, like wet wipes is a necessity. I found one more little sticker thing that I forgot to show you guys. So this is just PJ masks. Again, my kids dig this. I love these things for a dollar because they put them on the walls and then they end up tearing them off later on. So I don't feel guilty for it for a buck. They don't ruin the paint and they have so much fun decorating their own room. So I picked these up for them and I know they're going to love them. So these are things I hadn't seen before, but I had to scoop them up and grab them because I thought they were great gifts and great things just for a dollar. So these are sunglasses cases, which I feel like I always need a good sunglass case. I have one good coach sunglass case, but I shove all three of my sunglasses in that one and like that's not cool. So I was thinking about just throwing my other pairs like each in one and throwing one in the car, one in the diaper bag, one in my purse, whatever. So I always have them and I thought they were cute for gifts. So I got this one kind of like it almost looks like arrows or I don't know and then I got this one which was just colorful and fun and then this one with the little all the different shades 50 shades of mom right here this one's mine
Okay guys, so last but not least is these fashion wristlets. I think these things are so cute for a dollar and you can really do so many things with them. But again, I feel like they're great gift fillers. I seriously bought pretty much all of these four gifts. So I have tons of pineapple lovers. So I got one for you guys or a giveaway or like I said for gifts. And then I got one for Madison and one for Matt. So I don't really know what you guys can do with them. I mean, hold your money in them, cards, change, anything. But if I see pineapples, it goes in my cart. And then I picked this one up for you guys, again, for the gift closet or a giveaway, whatever the case may be. But I just thought that was super florally. Love the pattern. Like, maybe just throwing your phone in there, your money, a couple of cards, your lip gloss, and just using that to go out. And it's like, it feels kind of water resistant. So maybe you could bring it to the beach. I don't know. And then this one was, I needed to get one for me. So I picked up one of these Anchor ones for me. And then obviously one for Anchor Amber. So these are super cute again for a buck and I like bought every design I saw okay you guys that is it I can't even believe it if you have made it this far give yourself a big round of applause I knew this was going to be crazy but I mean really what do you expect when you go to 12 sinking Dollar Trees and the largest Dollar Tree in the US like I knew all this was going to happen this is what happens to me when I go into the Dollar Tree so if you're new hit that subscribe button and tap the bell I usually post a Dollar Tree video every other week here on the channel I try not to go in every week or it could get crazy. Uh, my last Dollar Tree haul was a bit reserved because I knew this was going to happen, but I had a lot of fun shopping with my girls. I mean, we are all Dollar Tree queens and we got to walk in the doors together. So that was super fun. I had a lot of fun. So if you guys liked this video and you again sat through it all, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.